Hello, hello, how's it going? So uh, this is a very quick video because I wanted to discuss conversion with you. What do I mean by conversion is converting your website visitors into customers. So everyone is trying to get more conversions these days. Well, everyone is trying to get more conversions in general. We all want more business, right? And many people are spending money advertising on Google, Facebook, Instagram, other networks. Uh, others are actually spending money getting their search engine optimization in order. And some of them are even paying some retainer uh, to agencies monthly or annually. Uh, so the idea is everyone wants to draw so much traffic to the website so that they can get more business or more customers. Uh, you, If you look at my screen, you'd see a number that is close to $8,000. So let me tell you what this number is. So basically, this is a new tool from Google. Uh, it's called Test My Site. And as you see, the address is here, is thinkwithgoogle.com slash feature slash test my site. And then let me backtrack and tell you how I reached this number. So basically, here's one of my websites, which is one that is still work in progress, so it has not been optimized yet, uh, has not been optimized for speed yet, and basically it's slow. So um, my site, this specific site of mine, loads in about 4.7 seconds, which is nearly five seconds. So on a 4G connection data, uh, if people are actually using their mobile phone to get to my site, it will take them about 4.7 seconds on average. Uh, some of them will get five seconds, some of them will get four seconds. Uh, and that's not acceptable. That's just slow, right? And as you know, nobody likes a slow website. So if I scroll down here, Google can generate a full report to tell me what action can I take to make this website faster. Uh, most of this action is actually playing with code. So you should be playing with the CSS code as well as the JavaScript code. And what we normally do, we would compress them to make them load faster. Uh, we would also uh, do a combine, like a combination. So what we'll do with this is we will combine the JavaScript files together in one, if possible, and also the styling files or the CSS files together in one and we'll optimize them. So we will decide when we want each component to load. The problem with this is that it's, it's a very delicate process and it's all from the back end and it's all kind of a, I don't wanna call it coding because we're not actually writing new code, but it affects the code. So the person who does it needs to have experience with back end servers, IT in general and back end, because this is something that's going to be done partially from your own website and the other part of it is done on your hosting account. So it's all a back end process that is not supposed to affect the look and feel of your website. Uh, so anyway, without digressing more and getting into the technicalities of how to optimize a website, uh, just looking here, Google is just giving me what do I need to do in order to make it faster? So these all, you know, reduce the JavaScript execution time, which means you have to reduce the actual script. Most of the time, these scripts are actually important for your page, so you cannot get rid of them. And they're imp they do important stuff, uh, like load your animation. If you have any animation, and by animation, I don't mean a movie animation, but it's kind of, you know, when you have a menu that drops down, and as it's dropping down, it's animated and it looks nice. Uh, this could be done by JavaScript or CSS or sometimes both. So things like that, you can't get rid of them, right? You need them. But you, you will need to compress them to uh, make them execute and load faster. And then if I need the full recommendation report from Google, I can just click on that button and they'll give it to me, right? So these are the components of or some of the components of website optimization. But that's not exactly you know, what I wanted to talk about in this video, what I actually wanted to talk about is the money impact. 
So if you look at here, because my website is slow, so my loading speed is 4.7 seconds, which means it's nearly five seconds, right? If I'm having 2,000 visitors per month to my website, and if my conversion rate is only 8%, so this means out of every 100 visitors who visit my website, only eight of them would buy from me. That's a normal, more or less normal conversion rate. Anything higher than that, and wow, it's great. And lower than that, you need to do a lot more work to improve your conversion. So if I say that my current conversion rate or my target conversion rate is 8%, and I have on the website a website maintenance and security plan, which costs $55 per month. Let's just, you know, for to make it easy, let's say it's 55, 55 even one off. So if my current website loading speed is five seconds and I get about 2000 visitors a month, which is less than 100 a day, because 100 a day will be 3,000, and my conversion rate or my target conversion rate is 8%, and I'm selling a product or a service that costs $55. By reducing my website loading speed from 5 seconds to 2.5 seconds, I will gain almost $8,000. That's what this number is. So if you reduce your website speed, if you optimize the loading speed from 5, to 2.5, which is slashing it by half. Your conversion rate at 8%, so if you're still convert, converting at 8%, and what you're selling costs 55, you're gonna gain another $8,000, $8,000. And that is only if the product is costing 55 one off. I mean, imagine if it's 55 a month, how much would that be? Or imagine if um, I get a little bit more conversion because my website is now loading faster and it's not boring the users. They're not waiting for it to load and getting bored and leaving. And if I increase my conversion rate to 10%, how much money is that going to make me? Look at that. Nearly $10,000. $10,000 a year, right? Extra, just by reducing the web page loading speed from 5 to 2.5. So this is really important, guys. Think about all the money you're spending on SEO. Think about all the money you're spending on advertising. Think about why your conversion late rate, sorry, late? <laughs> why your conversion rate is not going very well. It could be because your website is slow. No one wants to wait. So people leave and they don't buy from you. Also, think about another case scenario. Let's say you're not having 2,000 visitors a month yet. Maybe you're only having 1,000 visitors a month, and maybe your conversion rate is 5%, not 10, not 8. But maybe whatever you're selling, uh, let's say you're a coach and you're selling an online course and your average online course is what? $199. See, $8,800, almost $9,000 gain. Um, if you're selling high ticket, something like a high ticket course, something that costs maybe $1,800. Look, now it becomes like, wow, $80,000? Are you kidding me? So this is really important and you should not leave it till tomorrow. You should take steps today to make your website load faster. Thank you, and see you on the next video. Bye. Hang on, don't go away yet. Now that you've completed this video, I'm going to have to ask you to click on the like if you have enjoyed it, because everybody likes to be liked, you know? You can also subscribe. That way, you're going to get all of the cool YouTube stuff made by this guy right here. And finally, why not let all your friends know how great you thought this video was? You can share it with them or even use it in your blog. Thank you. Thank you very much. We see you soon.